D-Day, June 6, 1944. The biggest amphibious landing in military history was executed on June 6, 1944 in World War II to get into German-occupied France. The beaches the Allies stormed were heavily defended by tank traps and barricades. Also, there were hills with German bunkers and MG-42 machine guns and snipers. Before the Allies stormed the beaches, the Allied planes bombed the German bunkers, but they missed their targets due to some foggy weather. And right after that, the American ships bombarded the bunkers. Some Germans were sadly injured, but none were killed. The Allies split up the attack into five beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juneau, and Sword, but none were more deadlier than Omaha. The Allies attacking Omaha Beach were made mostly of Americans, but the sad thing is, most of them didn't even make it out of the boats on the first wave. One account even said there were 33 men in one Higgins boat, and all of them were cut down when the doors dropped. Only three men made it out, but instantly got cut down after they left the boat. This beach roughly earned the nickname Bloody Omaha. The price that was paid on D-Day to take France back from the Nazis and win the war was truly incredible. It estimated that there were 10,000 Allied casualties. If it wasn't for D-Day, we most likely would have lost World War II. After D-Day, the American forces pushed through France, taking it back.